Hello my people, thank you for joining us once again. This is your channel Obi TV and my name is Bossman. Uh, thank you for always being there. Quickly today, I'm, I'm always reflecting about the past and again, I'm one that always believes in looking back so that we can make the future better. And this week, I was just reflecting on some of the lessons, you know, I've learned, you know, from my brothers. Um, I happen to have, you know, three amazing elder brothers, you know, when I was living, I mean, growing up and living with them. It was fun, I was filled with a lot of lessons. I had people ahead of me that I could look up to. And, you know, they provided a lot of guardians whether they know or they don't know. And I can spend days, you know, talking about, you know, things I learned from them or that I pick up from them, you know. Um, when I started reading novels, you know, and books, it was because I pick it from one of my brothers, you know, when I, the kind of games, you know, that I played, you know, seeing them playing chess, you know, I learned how to play things like that, you know, so I can talk about a lot of things. But I'll mention three things. Um, and they, they were, you know, the three things around, you know, uh, my academics, you know, growing up. I can help anyone and some of them can be applied to anything in real life. And I won't mention the name of who said what or who I pick what from. Uh, but I think the three things I want to talk about is spoke to me directly, not that, you know, I just saw them uh, doing it, you know. Uh, the first one was when I was going to do, you know, my, you know, A-levels. Uh, I know for the first part of maybe my life, you know, elementary school, some part of high school, yeah, I wasn't doing well in, in maths. Uh, I wasn't doing well, and, you know, uh, but at the point in time, I decided to pick up, and there wasn't any magic. And again, I can talk about, you know, for me, I think that a lot of things, if we want to make changes in our life or to make a detour, you know, we can do it if we put our mind to it. A lot of times, we just don't want to dedicate what it requires, you know, and I can talk about how I pick up on that. Um, you know, but I picked up to be maybe one of the worst in mass math, mathematics to be one of the best, you know, but then it, it was late and I finished and I was going to do my A-levels and then the admission came out. I got some of the courses I was going to do, but I got two different admissions. One was with, a, was, I, I got one with maths to do maths in A-level. Uh, and one data came out to do maths in accounting and I was already settling to do the maths, you know, but then You know people who have done further mathematics or done a level mathematics will tell you that you know Even people with science background and things like that, you know, it's always very hard for them So I was a little bit afraid And this my brother was very good in maths and he told me that, you know, yeah, you can do it. And I can't forget, it wasn't like a long statement. He just said it, that you can do it if you, if you put your mind to it. And that was it. I, I can't forget, you may not remember, but I can't forget because, you know, I went in, I did it and I did well, you know, did very well, you know. Um, you know, so again, it was a good lesson and again I can speak to anyone if you are struggling with anything, if you put your mind at it, whether academics or things in life, I just keep pushing. Uh, you may need people around you who can tell you, you know, that you can do it. And not because they will do it for you, but because if they say it, you know, there is a way that if you take it and run with it, you know, something good will come out of it. You know, that's one. The second one again has to do with my academics and it made a lot of difference even though, yeah, I don't know if he remembers. Um, so one of the courses I did, you know, prior to going to the university in my A-levels was, you know, government, a social science. And I remember we were supposed to do two exams, you know, we'll do two exams as part of the finals. 
uh, for one of them, for the for the first exam I did it, and I knew what I was doing. But then, to me, then you know, you just write whatever you make it concise and submit. You know, so when I go back home, I say I did it well. I I know it very well. I'm familiar. I I love the subjects. But then I didn't want to write so much, so. I just wrote on my paper and submitted and he asked me, did you, since you know so much about it, did you ask for extra sheets, like asking for more sheets, you know, to write on? I said no. And he told me something. He said, he simply said, you know, you are doing social science. The more you know, the more you should write, you know. He said, pour everything down. If you have to ask for more sheets, you know, keep asking. And I went back to the second part and I did just that, you know, and, and when I was asking for more shit, people were looking around, but it's because of what I heard from him and that actually upgraded my results. But this is a thing I went into my undergraduate, you know, and I did, um, you know, politics as well. But I remember what he said and that was what I applied and, you know, it was obvious in my result, and I didn't really apply it. I know someone after one year, a very good friend of mine, came to me and said, "You know, what? Ex how did you do it?" And I said, "You know, this is what my brother told me. Can you apply it?" He said, "Oh, okay," and he applied it. So, and I know what it came out with. Um, you know, at the end of the day. So again, this is another lesson, and I know if you are doing social sciences, you are just going into the university or, you know, doing, a, 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 maybe you can apply this as well. Um, but then even maybe in life, you know, sometimes we hold back too much. We say we know a lot. We assume that the other person or the people we are conveying a message to know what we want to say or what we want to do. Is it in relationship or is it in anything, you know, maybe, you know, we need to, you know, show more of what we have or what we know or even what we are trying to communicate to ensure you know that the result you know will be better than imagined but the third thing um, from another brother so i'm just picking one from each of them um was and i said it in the podcast where i featured you know a few months back and that's to do when i was going into my university and he said that word he said to me he said you can spend the next three, four years of your life playing and you regret it for the rest of your life or you can dedicate, sacrifice, you know, put everything in the next three, four years of your life and you'll be proud, you know, of yourself for life. And I can never forget it's very golden because that's what I did. Every time I got discouraged, I held on to that word and I was proud of what I came out with. And every, in every season in my life, I've always done that, you know. I remember I was preparing for an exam. It was a very hard one, um, you know, but I remember that word. And I said, in three months, I'm going to sacrifice, you know, from work to library, I stop watching TV, watching films, you know, I just dedicated that three months. And boom, you know, it was a good result. Again, we can apply this to anything in life. You know, sometimes what we need is just waiting behind a sacrifice that we need to make. It may be for a short period, but then whatever will come out of it, we'll be proud of it for the rest of our lives. So these are three lessons from my brothers. Thanks to them. God bless them. I love them all. And I love you. Thank you once again for joining. Till we see you again, keep doing. Great things.